Hello, Revit family. This is Chris with Valar BDC, and today I'd like to take a few minutes and talk to you about our pipe system connectors. Now, if you've ever worked inside a Revit and tried to connect a vent system to a sanitary system, or say you have to uh, have a cross system such as a condenser water loop and a hot water loop that feeds into it, you'll beat your head up against a wall because sometimes the piping will turn all vent or all sanitary or all condenser water all the way back to your boilers and your um, hot water injection loop will disappear. So I created these pipe system connectors um, that are free from our site. You can just visit us at valorbdc.com, click on the free stuff tab and there you go. You'll, you'll, you'll find that along with some other free items like core drill holes and uh, some annotation families and such. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Revit and I can show you what I'm talking about. Inside of Revit, you can see I have two bathrooms. They're mostly back to back, separated by a demising wall. And what I have is a simple wet loop system for each bathroom. I got a side inlet elbow right here at the water closet, picks up the tub, and I got a stack and a stack, vent stack and vent stack that you really can't tell what it is. That's what it is, and uh, this here. So what you'll find is with these, uh, with rivet families, once you attach them to a, a, a fixture family, and the fixture family has defined connectors, you can't change it. So you can click on a pipe and you come over here, and sanitary is the only option. Just like if I went to hot water here, hot water would be the only option. Oh, hot water return because it's just uh, somewhat the same. Um, so, you know, cold water is the only option. So, and, and the reason being is, is when you open these families, uh, the, your, family, your family has uh, connection assignments assigned to them that will dictate what type of pipe comes out of the uh, fixture end. And I just want to take a second and talk about these layout families. The families that I used for this layout are layout families uh, that I created. Uh, it's been a long time struggle for me working with architects who put fixtures in their model, but I can't connect to them. So I can't get any calculations or anything else and make it all work. So what I did was I created layout families so that I can easily place my sleeves, I can put my families in, I can make sure that tub lengths work and the architect didn't put a wall in uh, 60 and a half inches rather than 60 inches. You know, so I have a lot of checks and balances with these families. So going over here to these fixtures, each connection is assigned a system classification. Sure, I can make it fitting, and then it didn't, it wouldn't care, but then I wouldn't be able to calculate things. So I got my hot water connectors here and I got my cold water connectors here. So it's, 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 it locks everything and it just makes everything a lot more intelligent, a lot more easier to use. Quick caveat, uh, fabrication fittings don't care what the connector is. It's, it's, it's not going to matter. They're just kind of dumb CAD items that have been put in the Revit that don't actually give you any real value or information. Um, that's why I quit using fabrication families and I'm back in the Revit, or fa fabrication ITM parts, and I'm back in the Revit families because I want to get the information. I want connected systems. I want to be able to read things across and have these checks and balances. Um, I found that we were getting, that my team was having a lot of issues uh, when they would connect things and sometimes they wouldn't run the right systems and such, especially when you get into high pressure water systems and uh, stuff like that. But that's all a uh, side note. Um, so, so, that's, so that's why things are locked in. So going back in, in the plan view, I'm going to go ahead and once this comes up, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to find view because it's going to be kind of hard to do with in a uh, single line view. A uh, quick note, if you work in single line or if you have single line deliverables, that's great. Work in fine view, change the single line because if you're trying to run stuff in single line, draw in single line, it's very difficult and it doesn't always work out. You can't see 
what's going on as well as you can with fine viewing. So uh, there's two ways you can uh, change your systems. One, let me go ahead and just grab this and isolate this in a 3D view. One, you can use Victalic's system. So if you have Victalic rule uh, tools for Revit, which I will put in the description a link to their website. It's only like 200 bucks. It's really worth the money. Um, you, you can come in here and you can select, oops, I over selected a bit here. So you can come in here and you can select what you want to change. Let me go ahead and grab this too. And they have a tool called the Systemizer inside of their pipe tools. And you can click on that and you can just automatically just say vent and say, okay, and here's the mic drop and walk away and you're done. That's what the big Victalic tools for Revit. But not everyone has it. I get it. You, you, you got a boss who will uh, spend a, a nickel in order to save a dime or spend a dime in order to save a nickel. Um, so you got to use the old fashioned solution. So let's go ahead and open up this view. And here's the old fashioned solution. What I do is I come in here and I disconnect my vent system from my sanitary. First, I draw out the entire system as far as I want to go. And then I disconnect from it. And then I come in here and I change it because it's not connected. Anything now I can change it. It's not connected to a fixture. You can see it all turned to a vent. And then I use what I call my pipe system connector. It's free, like I said earlier, it's free. You can find it on our site under free stuff. Uh, just download it, check it out, play with it. Tell me what you think about it. Leave a comment below. That'd be great. Um, you just come in here and you just connect it up. And, and there are 30 seconds of an inch. So for you fabricators out there, 30 second really isn't going to hurt your fabrication. Um, and you place them. Let me exit out of this. Looks like I placed an extra one here, so let me delete that. And I'll come in here and I'll use Victalic's AnyConnect to go ahead and reconnect. I'll click on this, and I'll click on that, and that automatically connects. And this one here, I'll just do the old-fashioned way and show you that I can just drag and drop it. And there you go. You have a vent system that you can, if your heart desires, turn back into a sanitary system or go back to a vent system. And that's pretty much it for this pipe system connector. As I said before, come to ballardbdc.com and you can download it for free. Uh, we also have other free items up there. I have a, a core drill hole. So for you guys who uh, your slabs poured and you got to flip that tub or your sleeve was kicked over during the pour and you want to lay out a quick easy core drill hole instead of trying to put a new sleeve in on your drawings you, you can go ahead and grab that um, or if you're just doing an entire pan deck and you're going to core all your holes you can just download that sleeve or that uh, hole assembly there uh, as, as i said i got flow arrows i have an, an annotation family that's going to go up very soon and what it is it contains a bunch of different pipe annotations designations a lot of times when you go to place a uh, an annotation and if one's bigger than the other and you got to change it from like pipe size system up to pipe size system down because you made a mistake and you put the wrong one in uh, a lot of times they'll jump and the leaders get all jacked up well, with these families, it really limits that. It allows you to switch on the fly as opposed to having to um, just go in there and re switch it and then readjust your, your leaders, which, you know, time, time is money, money is time. And if you can save just those couple seconds, then you'll be doing good. Um, please uh, hit the like button and uh, subscribe. Uh, there's going to be new stuff coming out. Uh, shortly. And uh, like I said, get on over to BallardVDC.com. Check us out. We're a uh, new stand-up. We're here to take over the world. <laughs> and our goal is, is to be your one-stop MEP family provider. 
I find that when you download the free stuff for manufacturers, a lot of times it breaks. It doesn't work. You see all these uh, beautiful PVC fittings. They actually look like a PVC fittings, not like other people who, who will sell you PVC fittings. Um, so, and also you can go into a beautiful single line mode and see what's going on as opposed to trying to do ship out some deliverables that look like that. And instead you can do some that look like this much easier to read. You can see where your pipes turn down, they turn up and they do some wonderful things. So like I said, get on over and visit us at valorvdc.com. Thank you.